Handyman, Homo habilis, was an earliest human ancestor with several big firsts. Their brains were much larger, they crafted tools, and their bodies were more human-like than their predecessors. Rudolf Mann, Homo rudolfensis, lived in East Africa around two million years ago. We only have a few puzzling skull and jaw pieces. Think of them as early humans with a relatively large brain for their time and powerful teeth for a varied diet, possibly including tough plants. Nicknamed Working Man for their advanced tools, Homo ergaster lived in Africa 1.8 to 1.3 million years ago. They had modern body shapes, possibly lacked hair. They were larger than their predecessors and even bigger than modern humans. Nicknamed Upright Man for their posture, Homo erectus lived for a whopping 1.8 million years. They journeyed across continents. They mastered fire, crafted clothes and spears, and built shelters. Their brains were the biggest of any hominin so far, averaging around a thousand cubic centimeters. Pioneer Man, Homo antecessor, lived in Europe from 1.2 to 0.8 million years ago, possibly the first in Western Europe. They were an evolutionary dead end, a lineage that didn't contribute much and died out around 800,000 years ago. Heidelberg Man, Homo heidelbergensis, thrived across Africa, Europe, and possibly Asia. This brainy ancestor braved colder climates, built shelters, hunted large animals, and used advanced tools. Heidelbergensis surpassed their predecessors, Homo erectus, in everything they did. Evidence suggests they may have even coordinated hunts and developed a form of early language. A new contender in the human family tree, Homo bodoensis, lived in Africa roughly 600,000 years ago. They were a bit more advanced in technology, with evidence suggesting they were the first to haft, attach, stone points to tools around 500,000 years ago. Nicknamed Neanderthals, Homo neanderthalensis were our close relatives who lived in Eurasia until 40,000 years ago. Built for cold environments, these clever cave dwellers were stockier than their ancestors and had brains as large or even larger than ours. They had a rich culture, buried their dead and created simple musical instruments. We, the Homo sapiens, are the wise man species and the sole survivor of the Homo genus. Our journey began in Africa around 300,000 years ago. Homo sapiens had unique features like taller and rounder brain cases and lighter skeletons. Homo naledi lived in South Africa around 300,000 to 200,000 years ago. They had a smaller brain and a small stature that hinted at adept tree climbing but limited their running ability. They likely consumed a plant-based diet and possibly used tools, although this remains unclear. Dragon Man, nicknamed Homo longi, is a recently discovered species from China, dating back at least 150,000 years. Why shrouded in mystery, their long, low skull with a prominent nose suggests adaptation to a cold climate. Meet Homo floresiensis, nicknamed Hobbit. Standing at a mere three and a half feet tall and weighing just 25 kilograms, they were the smallest known human species. These fascinating hominins existed until around 50,000 years ago. While their exact demise is unknown, it's speculated that our own species, Homo sapiens, either outcompeted them or they were already extinct by our arrival. Unveiling the mysteries of human evolution, we encounter Homo luzonensis, nicknamed Ubog, after a mythical caveman. This enigmatic group inhabited the Philippine island of Luzon around 50,000 years ago. Imagine them as small-bodied, possibly pygmy-like island dwellers with a unique blend of primitive and modern human features. There are incomplete remains of other proposed species like a single skull cap from Italy or Pengu-1, which is a fossil jaw, but regardless, we have covered every species of human that is currently considered valid.